My name is Devaki. I'm a children's librarian working at Oakland Public Library. Today I'm going to read you a story. The story is My Lucky Day. My Lucky Day by Kiko Kasa. Published by Puffin Books. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, rabbit! Someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit! Thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I would have eaten them for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no! screamed piglet. Oh yes! cried the fox. You have come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and pulled him inside. This must be my lucky day! The fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig host, my favorite. Now get into the roasting pan. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What? growled the fox. Well, I'm a pig, you know. I am filthy. Shouldn't you roast me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm. The fox said with himself, he is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire. He carried in water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You are a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now you are the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... But what? growled the fox. Well, I'm a very small piglet, you know. So didn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he's on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he made cookies. And finally he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You are a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now you are the fattest piglet in the county. So get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... What, what, what? shouted the fox. Well, I'm a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. So don't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a, just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massa, said the piglet. But the piglet continued. I have been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes. Now just a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there? But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He has had a busy day. Then the cleanest, 
fattest and softest piglet in the county, picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? Hmm, you know who he is going to visit next. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. That is my lucky day. Hope you enjoy. Please come and visit us at our branches. Thank you. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.